Gee Eve, how's it going? My name is Neil de Burka, and it's great to be part of Glorious Sovalia. In 2008, it rained for days and weeks. I remember one rainy summer's afternoon, I was coming home after a gig. I go into the local centre supermarket, and there behind the counter is Marek, recently arrived from Poland. I said, Marek, how are you? Neil, I'm going crazy. I don't know what to do. I said, what's wrong with you? Neil, the weather, the rain, the rain, it's driving me crazy. I said, Marek, I've got a tale for you. Fado, fado, vi tri dri in a Konian Aaron. Which means, a long time ago, there were three druids living in Ireland. Druids, seekers of wisdom. Knowers of the constellations, the seas, the trees, the rivers, the people, those with knowledge. There was one druid from the north, one from the south, and the high druid from Tara. Once a year, they would meet at a pool, a pool of water that was surrounded by hazel trees. And on a certain day, when they met every year, from the hazel trees would fall the hazelnuts. The druids would grab hold of some, and then they would go to a nearby bothy, a little house. They would go inside. It was so dark inside there. On the ground were skins of calves and cows, and the three druids would lie upon the skins. They would eat the hazelnuts, and then the magic from the hazelnuts would course through their blood. They would start to have visions. They fell asleep and the visions would take them out of their bodies. And when they woke the next day, they would have further insight on the universe. They would discuss what they had seen in their ashlings and their visions. Vlian and wine, one year, the three druids woke up at the same time. And their eyebrows were knitted with worry. One, the druid of the north said, I tell you something, I had the strangest dream last night. I had the strangest vision. I dreamt that a great big cloud, a mighty big cloud, was going to come off the Western Ocean and it was going to cover the whole of our island. I oh, had the same dream, said the druid from the south. And that this great big cloud it had cover Ireland from Banvers Crown all the way down to Cleaners Wave from the tip of the north to the very south coast. It would cover all the provinces. And the third druid, the high druid, said, I too had that vision. It will cover all of our island and it will start to rain and rain. And anybody caught underneath that rain will go stark, raving, mad. We're going to have to warn the people. Eh? We're going to have to warn the whole country. We'll have to spread out and tell everybody to hide. And so the three druids agreed that they would go all around the island and they would warn the people to take cover, not to get caught in the rain, so that they would be saved from going insane. When the three druids returned from circling the island and warning the people, their eyebrows were knitted in anger. I'm telling you something, the people of this island need to call on. I tried to warn them, but do you know what they said to me? They said, sure, what's a little bit of rain? It's Ireland. I know what you mean. I tried to warn them down south. I circled right round, but they were all too busy talking about Munster finals and going to pop fairs and everything. They, they wouldn't listen to me. And I also said the High Druid. I went to Tara. I told the High King and Queen. I circled around the centre of the country. I tried to warn everyone, but nobody will take notice. But the Irish will pay for this. Ah, surely the Irish will pay for it. They can all go crazy. They can all go mad. We should hide. The cloud is coming. The three druids. They found a lovely snug cave. They gathered in supplies and they waited. Ah, let the Irish go mad. And they will see how wise we are. They will all be crazy and we will be sane after the rain comes from this cloud. From the Western Ocean came the mighty cloud. It covered the whole of the island from Banva's crown all the way down to Cleaner's Wave in the very south. Low lying was the cloud. And then Hussigshe, Hussigshe Karpoach, it started to rain and rain and rain. 
The Irish. They'll soon be all crazy. And then one of the druids said, Hang on a second, boy. When the rain stops, if all the Irish are crazy, they will think that mad is normal and normal is mad. They'll think they're the ones who are normal. And when we step out, even though we're normal, they'll think we're mad. I think you're right. If we're going to live on this island, they'll all think we're crazy unless we too go mad. We're going to have to step out under the shower. And the high druid knew that her colleagues were right. And she said, we too must step out under the shower. If we are to survive in this island, we must follow this crowd. We too must go a little mad. And so the druids took each other by the hand. And as they stepped out into the rain, they said this saying, Let's step out under the shower. And when they walked out, rivulets of water ran down their faces and they began to laugh. Ha ha ha! This is a mad wee place. Oh, it is, but it is great fun at the same time. <laughs> hey, let's go over there. How's it going about you? How's it going? How are you keep up? And so I said to Marek, Marek, you're not going crazy, my friend. You are becoming Irish. <laughs>